As we set out on these three days of fishing, I found myself asking, what really is a trophy? By definition, it's something gained or given in victory or conquest. By fishing definition, a trophy can be so much more than that. Every angler has a moment, a number, or a size of fish in his mind of what a true trophy fish is. Steelhead in the trophy class are a different breed. They're big, they're strong, they're fierce, and they're incredibly hard to shake tails with. These amazing creatures have made it years evading birds, predators, commercial fishermen, and more. In this three-day mission, Jordan and I set out to catch a trophy class steelhead. We knew the task would not be easy, but our love for adventure would drive us to spend the next three days in adverse conditions, chasing the fish of a lifetime. So as day one commenced, I didn't really know what to expect. I was pretty excited because this is the river that I personally have caught the biggest steelhead of my life on. You know, the river's changed over the years and it's not as good as it used to be, but there's still potential to catch an absolute monster. So as the day started, I was like, just, you know, kind of getting those jitteries, like excited to just be out and, and steelhead fishing. As Marlon came to me with this idea, I told him over and over and over, I didn't want to fish one place in particular. And of course, where would you think he would want to go the very first day of this challenge? The place I didn't want to go. Let's go with that one. What was your song, Marlon? I said, <laughs> we're tromping through the woods in the snow, <laughs> looking for big steelhead. Ooh, it just kind of rolls off the tongue. It doesn't really, it's horrible. <laughs> that's why I'm a fisherman and not a singer. Right, that's why we know when to stick to our day but, jobs. I do rap, folks. Ooh, BG's only. Here and there. BG's in the house. Oh, this is probably the most fun part of winter snow fishing. It's just the hiking around. We could have floated today. We could have taken a jet boat out. We could have done a lot of things. We have options, but we wanted to hike. It's something that Marlon and I haven't got to do together in a long time. And honestly, I'm pretty sure he caught his biggest fish ever while hiking. Correct? Yeah. So even more suiting. New hole, new opportunity. Let's go. All right, so Addicts, just elaborating a little bit on what Jordan was talking about, you know, over the years that I've steelhead fished, when I go back and I look at a lot of my records, this time of year just seems to historically be one of the best times of year to really find a true giant fish. We're looking for a steelhead over 40 inches, which we, which I've caught probably in 30 years of steelhead fishing, I've maybe caught eight or nine of those type of fish. How many have you caught? Zero over 40. Yeah, see, and Jordan's caught one fish into the 20 pound range, but it had a lot of girth. And so the girth made two, up for the length. Two. But Let's get real, replay. Oh, Sean. true, true, two. true. Yeah, but the, the one place doesn't really count. Okay. I wasn't counting those in mine. All right, never, uh, nevertheless, <laughs> I've never broken 40 inches in my life. So that'll be a big feat for any, it's a feat for any, it's kind of braggy even talking like this. No, and really the, it- The it, theory it, of it is, is we don't want to catch a lot of fish. We want to catch one big one. And so we've selected rivers that we know there's not a lot of fish, but the potential of catching a giant is really, really good. So we're going to just fish our little hearts out and see what we can make happen. We got spoons, we got jigs, we got worms, we got beads. Get them warmed up. A couple of these rivers you can't fish bait on, so we won't be using any bait on some of these rivers, but uh, just depends on where we're at. We got three places in mind and- Lots of fishing time. I'm really excited. I lost a big mother effer right here last time, last year. It still haunts my dreams. Come on, little steelheads. Bought my worm. Give me just an absolute giant. Bring me back to 1996. Careful you don't pull a back muscle there, you old man. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, I am getting old. I'm 37 <laughs> now, addicts. I'm an old ass man. It was a rock it had to have been. Marlon's out in the middle of the river and he hadn't caught a steelhead up till this point. And so really I kind of wanted him to catch the first fish. And so I was standing on the bank, just watching, relaxing. And his bobber goes down and he sets hook mid sentence. It sounds like you have a lab mic. Fish, fish, fish boys, fish, fish on, fish on, fish on guys. I don't know, but I got a fish on, it's on a worm. He's kind of just holding right now. He's not, 
it's a chrome winner. Super chrome winner. Super chrome winner. First, <laughs> Addicts, I'm sad, I'm sad to say it, but this is the first one of the year. Yeah, brother. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh, it's nice. He's not done. He's gonna go he on. Even know he's yet. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little, little wild. Just a little wild. You get ready to land him for me? Yeah, All right, man. Let's get this chroma. Dude, first one of the year. What a way to start this trip. <laughs> oh, he's giving us a little acrobatic show here, Maddox. Oh, oh. oh, he's coming at me. He's going to attack me. He's... <laughs> what, is, what is with fish attacking you lately? I don't know, man. They're really into it. Rambos. Two Rambo fish. I got 17 pounds, so you should be good there. Oh man! Oh, look at so Addict. He just—he is so strong. He just ate that worm hard. Wow, Marlin, that fish is blue. It's blue. Look at it. Thing has to have sea legs. What a pretty little wild. Wow, dude. That's red haze, white tail, getting it done. See you later, boy. <laughs> Brother, give me some love, man. Yeah. First one of the trip, first one of the day, first one of the season. <laughs> that was chrome. It was so chrome, oh. I never saw him flash. The thing was a ghost. Yeah, yeah. I was standing up on the bank looking, trying to see what it was, because there's coho, there's Chinook, and all these rivers. And that was exactly what we were looking for, dude. So as we landed that first fish, even though it wasn't like the one we were looking for, it was kind of like a sigh of relief, because we were like, okay, there's fish in the river, this thing's fresh, it's chrome. He's probably got some buddies with him. So as the rest of the day went on, we were just, you know, our hopes were high to find that fish of a lifetime. Corked him. I want to hit this bank before you can walk up on it and spook all the fish. See what I did there, addicts? You guys see what I did? I made it seem like I wanted to keep fishing down here so that way Jordan would like keep going down. He was getting all thinking like the tail out was the place to be. It's not, it's right there. That's where they all like to sit. Tell there's an absolutely delicious little hole behind this log jam. So I'm gonna climb up on the thing and try to catch the fish. Looks like I'm not the only one. It's been a little squirrel or maybe an otter or something running around on this. Kind of cool. Okay. So it's making noise. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to this log now. Sketchy. Looks like it was a little coyote out here. Wonder if it was my little coyote. Oh my god. Frozen guide. What do you know about this, dude? I I have been called the pepperoni connoisseur of my time. This is Josh's dad's pepperoni. Sean? Well done, Pat. Well done, Pat. Well, we're off to spot number three. Conditions are just progressing to get better. It's my turn to catch one. But Marlon will probably still catch the next one. Mm. As long as it's big, I don't care if he catches it. Sean can catch it. Mm. Little can catch it. Way to go, Pat. Probably my favorite part about tracing any sort of trophy fish is the places that it takes you. We've been on a couple trips this year where we went way out of state or way off the map or way out in the wilderness just to catch that trophy status of fish. And that journey along the way and the experience you share with everybody around you makes, honestly I forget more about the fish. What it comes down to is spending the time with those people and the journey that's created just trying to chase the dream of that one fish to hold in your hands kind of does it all. It becomes the reason that you even go on the trips. And this is one of them for sure. I love hunting for fish. Little loves it too. Oh yeah. 
I can feel it. We're about to get one. He just didn't want the red anymore, dude. He wants this orange. And get ready. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, Sean. That was funny. <laughs> Told you, dude. What do you know about it? Oh, wow. Whitey. White fish. Don't you guys love how little this does not, if the fish is small, he doesn't say anything. Here's Jordan's steelhead that he thought he had. Right here, and the thing is just totally nodding up my... <laughs> What the hell would you have done if that if I would have freaking set the hook and you would have saw a big old freaking chrome flash? I would have cheered in pure joy and excitement and barked like my dog. I would have been like, what the hell did that just really happen? Two for two, baby! So as the day went on and as we proved, okay, we fished hole two, hole three, hole four, hole five, with not even a bite, I could tell like, you know, morale was starting to like drop a little bit, like damn, is there really even that many fish in here? But one thing I've always learned about steelhead fishing and especially looking for these bigger fish early in the year is you just gotta keep casting, you can't give up. And so we just are gonna keep at it, keep, keep going and see how many holes we can hit before it gets dark. Couldn't have fished that one any better. Absolutely greased it. Moving on. Well, the day's starting to wear down to an end. We have a little bit of daylight left. We might hit a couple more holes, but I would say today it was an overall success. We found a fish in tough conditions. We know we're on the right track, and now all we can do is keep bouncing around, keep using the same tactics that we know work really well, and just putting them to use wherever that we can find these fish and keep searching and keep hunting. I'm ready for some grub. Let's go eat. Busted out all the stops for us today, addicts. Dude, we got some freaking. Oh, my mouth's watering already. We got some salt and vinegar chips. Some S and Bs. Look at these addicts. Look at these. These have been marinating all day in the old JW bone sauce. What you guys know? JW bone sauce. Fire, dude. <laughs> Fire. We're so excited about these steaks. We haven't even made a cast in this hole yet. done? Mm-hmm. Way done, though. They don't look like they got little growths on them. Ooh. Little sausages. Woo! Those are good. What do you think, everybody? How's that look? Comment below. What do all you people out there like? I like a little bit on the rare side, and that is perfect. Oops. Weenie down. Weenie down. You suck! <laughs> All right, first taste. Oh my gosh, it looked tender. Did it look really tender? Hold on, let me wipe off my chin. Oh my God. Close our lid back up and get me and Sean's more well done because we're, we're not as manly as Jordan. I had a successful hunting season this year, Addicts. A really successful one. I got a super nice elk and I got a super nice deer. I'm not the type of guy who's out there trying to kill the biggest animal possible because this is my favorite part, is sitting around eating this stuff with friends and family. And so the first legal animal I see, bango. Bango bongo. Bango bongo. BBQ. Salt and vinegar chips are so good, dude. They're probably so bad for you though. Well, I'll be done for you. We forgot. <laughs> we got too excited about our salt and vinegar chips. We got Sean hooked Sean up right looks here. looks like a fish. Here you go, Sean. Dude, I gotta say, 
the J Dub Bone Sauce is insane. I have to get more of that. I'm out. Let's go to the char bro. Let's get the little charcoal one first. Mm. It's just even even though it's cooked, it's still just tender as hell. Mm. It's really good, Alex. Really, really good. I love elk. So one of the challenging things about fishing for winter steelhead, especially this time of year, is the days are so short. So, you know, as it keeps getting just like darker and darker and darker, you're like, damn it, we're running out of time. But that's okay, because we got tomorrow and we got the next day. We got three solid days to get out here and chase these big fish. And I hope, I just hope we can put it together. made lunch is ready and we have a big surprise today absolute snow apocalypse it is coming down like cats and dogs out here the snow is gonna get higher than senator socks here in any minute now but we're on our way to our next big river we're taking the boat out today we got big red in the background and I could not wait to slide this thing down the bank into the water and go try to find another giant steelhead Today is gonna to be such a monumental and stoic day out on the water. It's been a long time since I got to fish in such heavy snow, especially around home, and in a place where we have potential of catching a fish of a lifetime. So if this happens today, everybody, it is gonna be a monumental trip. And I'm just, I have, I'm gonna be speechless if we can pull this together. If we can make it there, one, so stick along for the, the drive there, the adventure. Two, safely get down the river without slipping and falling and dying on the bank somewhere. And three, actually finding a giant fish today so it's gonna be fun no matter what i cannot wait to hit the water marlon will be here any second it's time to go day two baby day two day two just gonna send it i don't care what you yeah, say we're just gonna send, send it. it down off of the just bed. sending it we're gonna send it down into a tree whatever look how pretty it is it is pretty this is what dreams are made of, man. This is what big steelhead dreams are made of. Oh, well, now we broke it. Say, oh God, we dead. broke loose, we're dying. We're, dead. we're halfway through our shuttle, everybody. The river is nearing, tension is high. We're about to snap. This is what happens when Marlon and I fish together. We start late, because the fish don't bite until we get there anyway, so we're almost there, thank God. 10, 17, and we have like nine miles to float. Oh God, we're gonna die. So as day two commenced, I was pretty excited. The river looked absolutely amazing. The one problem I noticed right out the gate though, is we were dealing with some very, very low, clear conditions, which makes for tough steelhead fishing. So we knew it was gonna be a grind, but we we're looking again for this big fish. You know, we, we chose a few specific rivers in search of the one. We, we knew that these rivers could potentially hold a monster fish. And so that's kind of why we chose these rivers. Conditions or not, these are the ones we had in mind. Trying to get a very big boat through a lot of small places. The river's a lot lower than we expected today, but it's still in impeccable shape. We got on, we're in the boat, we're floating, and we're going down and gonna try to target the best spots that we can today, places that we know there's gonna be fish, and if there is gonna be any at all, they're gonna be in those areas, so. Luck and a little bit of skill and a lot of bit of tries on our side. Let's start fishing. What do you think, dude? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is my favorite addicts to fish in this type of weather with the snow like this. It does not get any better if you're a winter steelhead fisherman. I think this is the days that you dream of. So let's hope we can put a big one on the bank. Ooh, heron on the bank, heron on the bank. Nobody's been there. Dude, we're not heron gonna be bank. able to spend a lot of time in here, Jordan. Uh, like we gotta just hit it good. So today kind of set special in my heart because this is actually where I caught my biggest fish. Like we talked about yesterday, Marlon's biggest fish came off the river that we fished. And today was my day to try to redeem myself to find that giant fish again in a small river. Right there it was. Cold winter's day. Me and four friends. And the biggest steelhead of my life. Right there. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's a big fish. It's big. I don't know if a fish has ever messed you up this bad. No. He's not done. That's a big one. <laughs> yes. Oh. Good oh. job, Phil. Great job, buddy. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. There you go. Oh, oh wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude, that's that hold is hold a tank. Hold him, hold him. Let's let him chill. Let's let him relax. Tank. Oh, I just had something in there. I totally just had something in there. It sucked it down and then let go of it really quick. Right out in front of the trees. That was a fish for sure. I'm so shallow. Look how shallow I am. Yeah. That was a fish for sure. I'm gonna lengthen it out a little bit just to see. I mean, that was right where they like to sit. Right out in front of those trees. That was a fish for sure. Addicts, I told you this year I was going to get more into bead fishing. Everyone's everyone's been on my ass telling me I need to fish beads because I don't fish them enough. So I, I went I went all out this year and got the lured guide pack. You know, guide status, legend status like Cameron Black, you know. Look at that, dude. Look at that freaking juiciness. And then I had to throw the pawpaw special extra in there. Here you go, dude. here you go, sir. Yeah, serve it up. Serve it up my platter. Where's the one I'm looking for? Oh, dude. You guys don't even freaking know what I brought right here. Sean, are you ready for this? Look at this. Just wait till this unveiling, Jordan. Ah! I almost dropped the whole freaking box of them. Do you even know what those are? Lemon bars? Yes. Sean, get yourself one of those, dude. Grab yourself a lemon bar. These are made by Cameron's wife, so shout out to Cameron's wife, Lex. I appreciate you. Merry Christmas, everyone. I got my lemon bar. Whoa! These are so good. I ate like six of these last night. I'm gonna be fat by the time this new year starts. We gotta ration these today, Jordan, because here's the problem, guys. If I leave this box sitting here back here by Jordan, <laughs> this whole box will get eaten. So we're gonna establish a rule that only way any of us can have a lemon bar today is if all of us want one. So we have to all three have a lemon bar at the same time. And before the day is over, we're gonna eat this entire, mm, the lemon's getting to me. It's like tingle in my throat here. <laughs> before this day is over, we're either gonna have a 20 pound steelhead on the bank or we will have eaten this whole entire thing of lemon bars. We'll <laughs> see We'll see what happens. Accepted. Challenge accepted. So as the day went on guys, and you know, first we get into the, the first good hole and the second good hole and the third good hole, and we're starting to get discouraged. We're like, man, there should, we should have hooked one by now, you know? But as most steelheaders, you just gotta keep casting. You know, we just, we just keep, the positivity up try to have fun and just know that at any moment be ready because your bobber could go down oh my god that was a fish for sure dude that like went straight under no hesitation these were my freaking christmas present thanks for eating my christmas present sean lemon bar Yes. Oh, look at how he grabs the biggest one. And the corner piece. Wow, and the freaking corner piece. Unbelievable, <sighs> dude. And then Jordan grabs the other biggest one. <laughs> cool, and they look at, they leave me with the nuggets. Dude. There's a huge nugget. I thought you guys were my friends. What about Tiny? He doesn't like these. I feel like <laughs> Tiny wants some zucchini bread. Oh, yeah. I've been sneaking it back here. There's a piece of zucchini bread missing. <laughs> you get him on camera sneaking it? Well, we've gotten a little fork in the road. We've officially gone down into the devil's urethra. We're going to have to drive the rack.
I got a fish yesterday, so a lot of the times throughout the day, I was kind of letting Jordan get first cast through the holes. You know, he's rowing and stuff down, so I was trying to be courteous and let him have first cast and and hopefully get a fish today. But we were rowing into the one of the very first good holes, and we row into it, and I let Jordan get like two or three casts, and he has like a little suspicious bobber down, but it's not like it's not like a guarantee. We're like, huh? I wonder if that was a fish. Oh, I had a fish on. Damn it. Sure as crap, my bobber comes in behind, just goes another 10 feet past his and drains. Fish on, fish on. That's a big one. Oh my God, that's a big one. And I hook it and I think, oh man, this is a big fish. I need to get to the bank. I need to get to the bank. Marlin. Okay, everybody. Okay, it's gotten real. Just kind of sliding into the last couple holes of the day. Marlin's got his drift through first. I hooked one on the reel in. It was a big structure right here. Go, go up, go high, go high. You're on the log. Big log right there. We finally got a fish on the line. It has been a struggle all day long. And it's a beauty. Not the biggest one we're looking for, but that is a beautiful fish. Nice done, brother. We get the fish, we finally put it in the landing net, and it's not a huge fish, but it's a really chrome, like anyone would be happy with this steelhead. So then we get it, we're sitting there looking at it, and all of a sudden Jordan's like, holy crap, it's a hatchery fish. Addicts, look at her. A thing of beauty, it's a hatchery fish. It's mandatory really? retention on this river, correct? Yeah, I think so. Yep, mandatory retention, 100% a hatchery fish. Wow, crazy. Oh my God. Everybody, what a hard fought win, and it is a total win. On this river, we cannot let, normally we let steelhead go most always, especially winter fish, even if they are hatchery fish. But on rivers like this one, it is mandatory keep, so we're gonna take this fish home. Do and why chicken. wouldn't we anyway? That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful chrome fish. Wow. There we have it, folks. Crazy, I, I've been fishing this river since I was 18, 19 years old. I'm 37 now. I've never caught a hatchery winter steelhead on this river in my life. And I just caught one. Which is pretty freaking cool. Got that new midnight blue addicted worm head. Red pearl, or what we like to call red redemption worm. Got her done. Little sure likes to lick it. So at the end of the day, day two, I'm still fishless in this little challenge. I love to see my friends in the front of the boat catch the fish, but there's always that little vendetta. There's always that little, you feel like you almost have a curse as the oarsman as, as not catching the fish until it really counts. And I hope tomorrow is that day. It's a big day. Tomorrow is gonna be probably the funnest day of all. We're actually gonna add another buddy to the mix. We're gonna kind of keep it secret here because you, you gotta wait till the next scene to see who it is, but we're gonna add a buddy to the mix and float one of my favorite rivers and uh, Hopefully we can make it happen tomorrow and put a big one on the bank. Here we are. It's dark outside. This is a happy fisherman right here. What'd you get? What do you I get? got Mongolian chicken, some marfar chicken, and some shrimps. Some shrimps. In honor of steelhead fishing. I got some sub gum, some sweet and sour, some marfar. What'd you call me? What'd you call me? <laughs> how a real fisherman eats. I guess that's one advantage to coming to dinner with your waiters on. Yeah. Winning. Even though those scissors have probably cut a lot of nasty things over the last little bit. They just literally cut a fish's belly open. Yep. We built this city Going out fat and happy. We're all fat and happy now. Even Sean got to eat for once in a while. He got a little grain of rice. Oh, it's dark out. We got to meet at O Dark 30 tomorrow. Better fill her on up, the old Chevron. I got bags under my eyes. My hands hurt. My back hurts. My whole body hurts. 
But that's that's what happens when you go to Chasey's Wild Fish. You put yourself through the ringer and cover a lot of river miles up till this point. I bet we're about 30 river miles into this trip, hiking, rafting, moving around, trying to cover enough water to find one of these giants. So day three begins, a lot of expectation on the line. Here we go. My man, Benny, the going? sloppy smooth. <laughs> What's happening, fellas? So day three, we brought our good buddy Ben. We decided we needed an extra stick, we needed an extra rod, extra bait in the water to hopefully help us complete this challenge. Look at Tiny, he's all zonkified. Tiny, he's zonkified in the most beautiful place in the world. This is what we call steelhead heaven, everybody. We're right in the middle of it. We're living it, baby. At the beginning of the day, we're like, okay, a lot of these fish, because the river's so low and it's so clear, it's gonna be like first or second cast through the hole, most likely, and these fish are gonna grab. So we all kind of picked our holes that we wanted to fish on, and Ben just happened to choose this one particular hole. So we roll into the hole, and Ben makes his first cast through, Bobber starts going, Bobber starts going, just completely drains, and we're like, oh my God, here we go. Sets the hook, nothing. And we're, all of us are kind of like, what the hell, we're looking around, but I had already cast it as well, so my bobber was probably 15, 20 feet behind his. As my bobber goes, 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 bobber drains, same exact spot as Ben's, I set the hook, and I was in for a ride. That's a really nice He seagulled him, seagulled him, totally seagulled him. A little says, little says seagull. I got it here, we're good. Just chill, just stay in the boat. So hopefully you guys can see in the footage, but I was really, really nervous when I hooked this fish. Like, the, I could tell it was big, I could tell it was a trophy, and I just was praying, please let me land this fish. Please let me land this fish. It's a nice, oh my God, it's such a nice fish. It is. So, little update on what just transpired. Transpired, I don't know, I can't even talk right now. This fish is big, like really big. I see it, I see it. My heart is beating a thousand miles a minute. <laughs> so Ben, Rolls through the hole, we didn't have the cameras on because we've been just fishing our butts off and moving as fast as we can down the river. And this was the hole too, we told Ben. We, called we the all picked holes that we wanted first cast in. So Ben was first cast, first run through here. And this is just all about luck, really. That was a Oh my God, it's such a big fish. It's big, 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 oh, big. Oh, that was a heck of a fish. Oh my God, it's big. Ben, point the camera at yourself and tell them a little bit about why you feel right now. I'm feeling about that big right now. But hey, that's fishing. I mean, I had my chance. And it's not like I wasn't on him either. Like, I had good line tight and because the float landed past the, <laughs> past the raft. So it's not like I wasn't on him. Maybe too quick. I don't know. Hey, maybe it's another one. Hopefully we don't blow the hole up when we get back in there. I can't do anything with him. Every, every time, okay, here we go. We might get a good look at him right here. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right there. That's, oh God. Okay, I'm gonna go down a little bit so you can roll him into me. You just stay there. Don't move. I'm gonna stay right about here. Dude, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a hatchery, I I think it's a hatchery fish. <laughs> All right, you ready, Jordan? I think so. Uh, oh, shut up, shut up. Oh. Oh my God, he said no. He said F you. Dude, I haven't had a fish make my heart beat like this in a long time. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Just reel all the way to your bobber and then lift him. Stop pushing. Nope, not doing it. Okay, that might be it. Nope, not doing it, not doing it. Okay. Okay, okay, we might have him here. Nope. Oh God, I don't want to stop. God, I got him. Yes! Oh, a big fish. That, that was scary. That's oh a my giant God. hatchery. It's a giant hatchery. Oh my. Oh my God. That Does anybody big. else have anything else to say? Oh wow. my God. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. We finally get this thing in the net and it ends up being 36 by 19, pretty much a 17 pound steelhead, maybe a little bit bigger, it's hard to say from the measurements, but a trophy nonetheless. This fish had just absolutely amazing characteristics. One of the coolest steelhead I've ever caught. It was a hatchery steelhead, so all the people out there, all you wild fish guys that try to say that hatchery steelhead aren't quality, take a look at this guy. Wow, everybody. Now this is what the search is all about. 
this is why we put in the effort. The sleepless nights, the long drives, the icy drives in the morning, is to get to shake hands and just spend a couple of moments with a creature that is of this capacity, man. Look at that. And it is a hatchery fish. Really nice one, man. I just, I can't be more happy for I just can't, man. We, I mean, we put in two grind. I'm like at a loss for words. I've never seen Marlon so speechless hey, in my life, up, addicts. Look at the color on this fish. This is some. This is a fish I'll remember forever. Look at this fish's face. Two full days, Jordan, of searching for something like this. Thank the creator for that. And this isn't a 40-inch fish, but guys. This is everything you dream for when you're looking for a trophy steelhead and he's absolutely 100% ready to go Let's get one more look at him guys. We can take this fish a little bit out of the water because he is a hatchery fish But we're gonna let him go anyway. We're gonna let this thing Go make some other big babies just like him. Oh, he's so ready. You ready? There he goes. Look at his back in the water That's nice. Yeah Man, this is a good luck charm. It was a major goal accomplished and something we didn't really even expect ourselves to be able to do, especially this time of the year and with as much time as we had. Three days is not enough time to try to catch a trophy fish and every angler in the world knows that, but we did it. It all came together and we did it. Hey, you, you know your anal. You remember that? When you shorten your warm up that much. You gotta make sure it's perfect. It's gotta yeah, be the exact right inch. length. The right length. Exact exact right length. Which is that, funny. I remember doing that to you one time, man, when we floated one of my favorite rivers and we didn't catch a fish all day. Yep. We worked our butts off and I'm like, man, let me see that worm. And I grab it and I like trim an inch off after eight hours of fishing. And I thought to myself, I'm like, yep, that one inch is what killed us today. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we didn't catch one. What do you think about day three so far? <sighs> it's magical. I got to see my buddy catch a giant steelhead. Now it's my turn. Addicts, we did it. We got a big fish and it was a freaking beautiful one. Now it's time for snacks. Got me some cheddar bunnies, some little pineapple coconut, seltzer water. From that point on, I was happy. I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna cast. I'm gonna let these guys have first goes in the holes. I'm gonna let them run them. I'm still gonna fish, but I'm gonna really just try to help my friends catch a fish. Oh, would you look at that, guys? Look at this crazy rock that I found. What is that, dude? <laughs> what is that rock, Jordan? Tell me with your infinite rock knowledge what this is. It's called an insulatorite. Uh, insulatorite. Look at that right there. That'd be good for like a crappie mount or something. <laughs> God, busting my balls. <laughs> Catching all my fish, and now he's busting my balls in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, what's this? Looks like a bonker. Dude, I'm just out here finding treasure, guys. It's really in the ground. No, it's an axe handle. It's an axe handle. It's a freshie too, dude. We better keep that. We are gonna take this with us. We ain't gonna leave it on the riverbank. This plastic will be here forever. We'll take it with us. I uncovered it from the earth. Now I'm forced to take it with me. Doing a good deed for the day. This is gonna get me another 25 pound steelhead probably. Another, he says. We're on another fish, boys. We're on another fish. <laughs> that thing looks gross. Ready to beat. Got him right now. Got him, I got him. I got him here, boys. That thing is so close. What an incredible. Incredible example of a steel. Look at the clear fin. Look at that, everyone. Go down close to this this peck fin here. Look at that. Well, brother Ben, what a specimen, bud. That's as pretty as they come right there. Oh my there. God. Just again, so much charisma. Let's let this little guy go. Nightmare. Love the cheeks. Man. Later, and away he goes. Brother! That's what I'm talking about. Ow! That's one of the prettiest little bucks I've ever caught right there. Hell yeah, man. Thank the creator for that one. Let's keep fishing.
How do you think the day's going so far? Good, I still haven't caught one. I'm getting <laughs> a little jaded here, everybody. I want a yank on the line, but I am still in heaven, but I'm getting itchy. It's been a long couple of days. It's been a long day today, but we've got, it's, it's all paid off. We've caught two beautiful fish, and I'm the kind of person, as long as we're catching them, I'm just as happy as if I'm catching them, but it would be cool to have my drag peeling by the end of the day here. Fingers crossed. Everybody comment below on whether or not you want me to catch one or whether you want to hear me complain and annoy these guys the rest of the day. <laughs> Fish out! Are you serious? Ooh. Did you see something behind it? Oh my god. Behind it, no. How, how deep are you? I mean, it's not that deep. No. I, I was a fish of some sort, but I did not see a flash. I didn't see anything. And I didn't feel any weight behind it, so. Got him! Got him! Got him! That's a ceiling! Oh, yeah! Yes, everybody! Yes, world! Oh, wait! Oh, there he goes again! There he goes again! Oh, yeah! That's a nice fish. I don't know if you guys could see that on the chest cam, but that fish bit twice. Very first cast through there, bobber down, total whiff. Only, I've kind of felt them grab the rubber of the tail. I felt a little resistance, but no hook. Very next cast through. I let it sit down for about another, what, two seconds longer. Got him, got him, got him. Bendo. <laughs> Here, hold this. What do you want to do? Go to the bank. Here, just hand me the rod, I'll just do it. Well, there we have it, addicts. Three days worth of work, bundled up into one. Beautiful chrome little dude. Look at that fish. So I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but on the tail end of this fish, you can see how it's all chewed up and mangled up. And if you look on this other side, you can actually see the teeth marks. And I'm, what I'm guessing from it, that wasn't from a sea lion, Mm -hmm. But you can see this is actually a male steelhead, so this is either from them like fighting each other for, for breeding stock and for spawning grounds, and or probably a seal or a sea lion. But look at how platinum that thing is. Look at that cheek. Oh, what a blessing. All right, buddy. We'll see you later. Ha <laughs> ha! I did it, addicts. I caught a steelhead. Wasn't the biggest one ever, but it was the most beautiful one I'd caught this year. And I was extremely happy that I got to put a fish to hand on this day, especially. It, what a perfect day on the river. Good friends, we all caught a fish and we made it out alive. The cool thing about the last day was the fact that all three of us caught a fish, you know. It's, there's a lot of times you go out to the river where there's always like the hot hand. There's always the guy that like, oh, Marlon hooked four that day or Jordan had six or, you know, but to go out and have everyone be able to put their hands on a steelhead, it's a success and it's a memory that will stick in my head forever. Truth be told, I cannot wait to put ourselves through this kind of challenge again. It might be more than three days, but who knows? You're gonna have to wait and find out.